One of the topic of the project uh, is the uh, accurate estimation of the energy dissipated by the braking rheostat. As you know, in the C systems, uh, uh, if you have uh, an extra energy generated during uh, the electrical braking stage of the train, uh, uh, this extra energy is dissipated by a braking rheostat. This energy can be recovered uh, by, for example, uh, reversible substations uh, or uh, storage systems placed uh, in the substation or even uh, on board trains. Uh, during our measurement campaign, uh, we found uh, interesting um, information regarding this aspect. Uh, for example, for what concerns uh, a railway system, uh, we saw that uh, for a specific uh, um, route, uh, the driver can affect uh, the energy dissipated by uh, the rheostat. Uh, um, for example, we found uh, energy dissipated by the rheostat from 10% to up to 30% of the um, energy used for traction. In the metro application, we found that uh, uh, even there is a substation, a reversible substation uh, operating, uh, uh, there is a, a residual of 10% uh, of energy dissipated by the rheostat. Uh, we investigate uh, on the relation uh, between such dissipated energy and uh, the voltage level of the supply system. That is a power quality parameter. And uh, we found that in general, both in the railway system and in the metro system, the supply system is uh, higher than the rated value. For example, in the railway system, if you consider that the rated value is 3 kilovolt, uh, we found in general a voltage from uh, uh, 3.6 kilovolt up to 3.8 kilovolt. Uh, and the same uh, in uh, Metro de Madrid, uh, the rated voltage is 1.5 kilovolt and we found uh, an average value of uh, 1.7 kilovolt, so higher than the rated one. Uh, this choice um, reduces the, uh, increases, sorry, the energy dissipated by the braking rheostat. Uh, so, for example, uh, uh, by reducing even of uh, uh, 50 volt, for example, the rated supply voltage, uh, uh, you can increase uh, the energy uh, recovered uh, during the braking. Uh, 